All right, well, I got my blackberry crisp pie in the oven. I got a whole bunch of extra blackberries to make syrup with later. And now I'm going to take the container that I collected my blackberries in, which is just an old ice cream pail, and I'm going to make some shumac tea. I'll show you how I do that. You get the, uh, these are staghorn shumac berries, like the ones I showed you, that I told you I was going to pick. Well, I picked about 10 or 12 of them. That, a dozen of them seems pretty good for a gallon size tub like this but you can see these ones are nice and nice and fresh they don't have a sometimes they'll get little worms down in here which isn't too big of a deal you can actually still use them but these ones are real nice and fresh and they don't really seem to have any worms or anything I just plop them in there I don't bruise them up or anything uh, I've seen some people said it's uh, good idea to kind of bruise them up but or and uh, that didn't work too good for me because bruising them seemed to release a lot of the tannins that are in the stem and stuff and it made it uh, somewhat astringent to drink so now what I do is I just take the berries and kind of pack them in this little bucket like that and 10 or 12 average size clusters of berries fills this uh, 5 quart pail up pretty full and when you harvest them you just reach up and snip them off right at the stem Stuff them in there. And uh, use cold water. And I like to use the sprayer because I can spray the berries. And the vitamin C and citrus taste is in the little hairs. So this kind of sprays it off, gets it working. Spray them around till it fills up. Like that. It's hard doing this one handed. I need a head cam or something. Put this lid on here. You want to have a, a lid that fits on there pretty tight. Can you hold this camera for a minute and just, uh, you know, point it like there at the berries? Just kind of keep it pointed right there. point at this and once I get them in there this lid isn't fitting very tight but shake it up real good and that'll kind of work those berries that'll bruise those berries up without releasing the tannins that are in the stem this seems to work real good for me I just shake it up real good like that and let it sit for a few hours. I'll come back every half hour or so and give it a thanks. Give it a nice shake. And uh, in a couple hours, two or three hours, four hours, I'll let it sit all day. It really is just all just depends on how long I how much time I have and stuff. You can set it out in the sun. The only thing you want to be careful is you don't want to heat the water <clears throat> because if you do 
you'll release the tannins that are in the stem and you'll also kill <clears throat> you'll destroy the the vitamins because it's full of citric acid it's full of vitamin C I don't know if it's citric acid but it's vitamin C I think it's ascorbic acid and uh, by cooking it or heating it you destroy the vitamin C so it's almost pointless to uh, go through the trouble but this works real nice you don't have to reach your hands in there and tear the berries all up just throw them in there whole fill it with water shake it up real good let it sit for a few hours and then uh, what I do is I just uh, I strain it out through a paper coffee filter I'll do that uh, a couple times and it removes all the little hair particles and any worms or anything that might be in there because they do have worms in them sometimes but it's really not that big of a deal if you if you strain it out uh, it's uh, it comes out tasting really good I'll, I'll drink it without any sugar or anything sometimes I'll put a little sugar or a little bit of honey in there and uh, serve it up like lemonade people say it tastes like pink lemonade but I don't find that to be the case uh, if anything it tastes like uh, brisk brisk tea the tea you get in the store with the lemon twist in it has a slight citrus flavor but to me it's more like a tea versus a lemonade but once it's all done I'll show you what it looks like hey everybody I just wanted to give you a rundown on how I filter out my Schumach tea this is the stuff I made up yesterday in this milk pail I went ahead and let it soak overnight in the refrigerator because I didn't have time to filter it out last night and uh, what I do first is I take this colander and I run it through there into a, a big glass bowl or something to get all the large berries out and large particles and then I run that through this plastic reusable coffee filter to get a lot of the smaller particles out and then I finish it off by running it through once more through a regular paper coffee filter and that gets all the fine little hairs out and what you end up with is a real nice shumat tea and every time I've done this it's came out a different color but the the colors that have tasted the best for me were this which is sort of an amber color reminds me of maple syrup and then also uh, a very light golden yellow color both of those tasted real good one time I did it it turned out green and that was the time that I crushed up the berries by hand and I think it just released all the tannins out of the stem and chlorophyll and what have you turn the tea green it still tasted okay but I think if you use the process I showed you you end up not damaging those stems as much and you get a nice golden color I've never had it turn out pink like pink lemonade and uh, one person I talked to said sometimes it'll come out clear even and what they'll do is add a little red food coloring to give it that pink lemonade look but that's pretty much it it's a pretty easy process and the tea is really refreshing especially on a hot summer day it's real good but I just wanted to finish up this video and show you the whole process from start to finish and that's pretty much it so go out there and identify some edible shumac and make yourself some shumac tea.